హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సతీష్ బాబు సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఈఎన్టి హెడ్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ సర్జన్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్స్ బెంగళూరు రింగింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఇయర్ ఆర్ జినైటస్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ ఇన్ మెడిసిన్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద అనాయింగ్ సిమ్టమ్స్ విచ్ ఓన్లీ ద పర్సన్ హూస్ హ్యావింగ్ విల్ విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ నా రింగింగ్ క్యాన్ బీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ వేరియస్ రీజన్స్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద అవుటర్ ఇయర్ టు ది హియరింగ్ నర్వ్ విచ్ అటాచెస్ టు ది బ్రెయిన్ ఆర్ ఈవెన్ సమ్టైమ్స్ బ్రెయిన్ టిష్యూస్ can also produce a tinnitus or a sound inside the ear ideally the sound comes from the outside and and the brain recognizes it by the way of uh, hearing pathway but now uh, because of some uh, reason the, the the hearing apparatus or the nerves or the brain can start producing the noise by themselves now uh, the causes can be as simple as uh, a wax in the ear or any other such foreign body obstructing the ear can produce a humming sort of a, a tinnitus and uh, it can be cleared by just removing the wax and the hearing also will improve with that uh, having some fluid inside the ear, eardrum or um, some other disease like uh, otosclerosis where the hearing also goes down and there is a, a noise inside in the ear uh, needs to be dealt with by the specialist you have to diagnose the cause first where is the sound coming from which is the culprit organ that is producing the noise and then we can uh, deal with it accordingly there are other more sinister issues like uh, uh, vascular or uh, blood vessel tumors inside the ear or in the neck and then uh, tumors inside the uh, inner part of the ear or nerves tumors in the brain can also induce tinnitus now doing simple tests like uh, clinical examination a hearing test and and if required if there is any suspicion go to the level of doing a ct scan or an mri uh, of the uh, brain and the ear can give us the basic information as to where exactly is the problem and, uh, and consequently we can deal with it in a more effective way but the problem with ringing in the ear is more than 80% of the uh, tinnitus is spontaneous and there is no specific reason for it or at least we cannot determine a particular reason when we do these uh, tests everything comes out normal the clinical examination is normal hearing test is normal which means the inner ear and the nerves are functioning well the sound is reaching the brain and if you do a scan also there is nothing coming out and there is an incessant you know ringing sound which is going on annoying the person once we determine that there is nothing major then we can wait for the uh, sound to uh, reduce spontaneously how it appeared spontaneously it also tends to disappear uh, by itself but it the, the duration of persistence can be uh, varying individual to individual it can be few days to few years to you know uh, through the lifetime the tinnitus can be persistent the fact that you got all the uh, important causes excluded by basic examination and, uh, we can uh, you know learn to you know live with it and learn to ignore it as best and uh, if there is uh, additional hearing loss along with your uh, uh, tinnitus then a hearing aid wearing a hearing aid will most of the times suppress the tinnitus and boost your hearing so it is a uh, double benefit uh, this thing which can be done there are certain medications which are used regularly but the benefits of which uh, is only subjective uh, none of these medicines are 100% uh, you know guaranteed or full proof so that uh, we don't have a, a specific or recommended uh, treatment for the t- uh, ringing sound in the ear so the first thing we should do is to determine where the noise is being produced from and then uh if there is a, a tangible cause we deal with the cause otherwise uh, we can try out the medications and like i said uh, hearing aids or tinnitus maskers there are apparatus which produce a counter noise which will suppress the uh, sound uh, as long as you are wearing the sound is at least off and uh, we can try out some medications and in in different combinations and uh, uh, dosages and whichever suits you best which uh, you know to keep the the loudness and uh, the annoyance down you can go with it even on a long term uh, beyond that if if the the person is really affected uh, mentally because of the presence of sound 
and we cannot determine the cost then there are other measures more destructive measures where we'll have to go in and uh, destroy the hearing nerve and uh, then the tinnitus might stop